Could be tough, but we'll try. If it doesn't work, we can try someone else. Is that half starting cash as well? Ooh, that that changes a lot. Ah. <clears throat> ah. Get it? Nice. I mean, there's gonna be leaks, right? You okay with it? I don't have much choice. I think I see my, the error of my ways. Maybe. This doesn't work, we just go sub start. <clears throat> Four is it possible to defend on some maps without leaks? Wow. Feeling not too bad here. Eddie or Lead? What do we, I mean, I wonder if Eddie was wrong here. Hey, no brew. How you doing, man? I think if I see hearts before Edian comes down, I want to upgrade it. Maybe not. Here we go. Okay. We should have the six hundred for leads before it comes out. We're gonna have to I think we're gonna have to let that camo go and I'm okay with that. Yeah. 
Unless he levels up in time. What does he need? He gets camo at like level 4 or something. Oh, I kind of wish I had the hotshots. Ah, oh, thanks, Demon Thorn. Stupid Edian. We're gonna let that one go. We'll pay for that one. That's fine. Eyes on that exit. Okay, so now the plan is either upgrade to Ring of Fire, which is good, or put something in the water, which is also good. Yeah, but Edian he went down much later. So he only just he didn't he only just got his camo, um, which is fine. I don't think he's like I don't think this is gonna get camo until after the Moab. And I'm worried about the Moab. So I think it might just be I don't know if we get the money for it. We probably do. Edian usually gets camo way earlier than that on, um... I normally have Edian has camo before the first camo balloon. Okay. Something else in the water... together. Put a house later. What sort of range do I look at? Pretty pricey. Yeah, I mean, even that's a pricey upgrade on half cash, hey? 
It's gonna be worth it though. If we get it this wave. Uh, I don't think we do. We don't get push either. <laughs> they got taken out around the corner. Alright. Um, little upgrade. It's a very, very small upgrade. Probably not worth. Nah, it was fine. Might have even been fine without it. Hey Bubs, how you doing? Maybe I didn't even need anything. Oh, I'm okay with that. Objective. Ooh, nice. got the next upgrade planned. We'll probably have that by around 50. Next sub upgrade is good, but probably cost too much. Although for this one we're only really looking to get to around 80. Um, and then we'll just let it run and see how far it goes. After that I'm really not too fussed. Stanley, how you doing? Okay, 
Okay, regular stuff we crush, which is good. Need something a little more for that. Just go more of those subs. I mean, it's not terrible. Getting to it might be tough. <clears throat> Although we don't need it for just to beat 80. How much stronger is the is the tier 4 compared to the tier 3? Like, forgetting about the active ability. That makes me feel like the amount of, the amount of you get two extra of these instead of one of those. Spend time trying to buff those. I'm okay with that. Hey Crit, how you doing man? What's been going on dude? Hmm. I'm either working out whether I want to upgrade this one or put an alchemist at the back behind these two with a helicopter. Or plane even. Maybe a plane actually. 
that's interesting. We'll never get to Sky Shredder, but Dark Storms. I use willpower to suppress a headache so far with limited success. So not completely unsuccessful. this one super deep because it's limited cash. Sleeping for an hour messes up so hard somehow. It's because you get into a nice deep sleep and you pull yourself out of it unexpectedly. There's things you can use to monitor um, what stage of sleep you're in. And you want to be waking up when you're at the, depending on how they measure, it's usually at the top of the cycle. Um, so it's a similar sort of state as you're drifting off to sleep. Uh, and it's, for most people it varies. I think it's between like just under two hours to around two and a half hours, depending on the person. And that's the, like the optimal amount of sleep you're going for, unless you're getting like, unless you're doing like 10, 15 minute bursts. So in some cases, an hour can be worse than getting 10 minutes. Yeah, that's it. Like an, a, an hour is right in the middle. Like so, that is the worst, the worst amount of sleep you can get. You know, like I said, it worth. Like if you're someone whose cycle goes for two and a half hours, and an hour 15 is the worst you can get. If you're someone who cycles at the sort of like the uh, 110 minute mark, then 55 minutes is the worst amount of sleep you can get. And there's, a, there's different graphs you can get based on uh, measurements that can be taken from your sleep cycles that sort of show how much more or less you want to be. Um, so, you, and you don't want to be right in the middle of your sleep cycle. So if you, and if you can't get 10 minutes more, then 10 minutes less is actually better for you. Is an hour still better than none in the first case? It's debatable because if it takes you, it depends how much time it takes you to sort of wake up from the fact that you've like that sort of shock. And for a lot of people, um, you might sit around for 45 minutes being very unproductive, in which case then you didn't get any value out of the sleep and you used up 45 minutes being unproductive. You would have been better off just having 10 minutes and then being productive for an hour. I'm assuming you're asking if I'm from or if I live in New Zealand. The answer to both is no, but the question's unclear. I definitely don't eat New Zealand. Um, what else do we do? I don't go for New Zealand in any of the sport either. Surf New Zealand. Yeah, but you're trying to guess what? <laughs> like. You just put New Zealand with a question mark. It's very unclear. Where I'm from. The beer is good in New Zealand. Yeah, I lived in New Zealand for a couple of years. Beer is good. No, I, I, I was born and raised in Australia. And still live here. Well, live here again.
So we're not going to get to that sort of money. We're not going to get to that sort of money. We just need to win. Probably just go for that upgrade. Sheep New Zealand? No, save that for the Kiwis. Spectre money? No, we went top half. This is fun. I don't know, like people say half cash is harder, but I think the fact that you can you can leak <clears throat> You feel like if you even step foot outside in Australia a spider would eat you, you don't even need to go outside man. Like they're in your building. Cubism is one of the easiest maps. Yep. It's fairly easy to leak <laughs> on any of the maps though. I mean, it's also fairly easy to prevent them, but... how far this goes, but I don't feel like it goes very far. No idea what I should be spending on. Nor if it matters. Probably shouldn't free play the half caches.
everything's all good. Like, you can kind of... We might be in a bit of trouble here. Oh, no, lucky. No, no, no. <laughs> you can get pretty far off um, your, your Wave 80 finish, right? DDTs will wreck you when they come around, though. Nice. One more down. 